You already know. I'm a king. <laughs> yeah, I'm a king. Shot nigga store. You are too. Don't get straight to the bottom line. Your man academics is a fucking loser. He's a waste of motherfucking time. There's no reason why any man should put their hand on a woman and disrespect them in public and or even in privacy the worst. Once again, you see this dude being a buffoon on public display once again. And making himself look like he this big bad thug motherfucker that did so much time in prison or something. Like you are the softest nigga in the industry. There's no reason why I don't understand how this nigga got the most this, the most clout in the world. I guess he got this. It is a notion. I have a lot of money, so I can now talk to you like the way I want to talk to you. I can now treat you ladies the way I want to treat you because you know what? You're below me. Anyone who thinks like that, that's like a pimp. A pimp is the one who is a bottom feeder. You know what a bottom feeder is? Someone who takes the last scraps of everything of a person emotionally. And if you have low self-esteem, I'm going to use that against you and make you feel real little. Any male, because I'm not going to say men, because men don't do that. Any male who think it's okay to talk to a woman in any kind of way, I don't care if you're a black, white, Hispanic, Asian woman, whatever you are, any woman of this, that's just born as a woman. We're talking about women only. Women who born with a woman, because we're in a whole new era now. But the bottom line is that shit was so disgraceful, very dis disrespectful to his own mother. You know what I'm saying? Like any man who feels comfortable enough to talk to a woman or, or belittle a woman or, or degrade a woman or even potentially hit a woman. And I didn't necessarily see, see a hit. He did shove her. You shouldn't even do that at all. She is twice your size, nigga. Twice your size. There's no reason to have this this automosity towards a woman and talk all big like I'm a thug, nigga. I'm a thug, nigga. Fuck out of here. You ain't no thug, nigga. You it's trash. You just got a whole lot of clout with a whole lot of bum ass fans who think you cool. I don't know how you convince people to think you cool, but you're not. This shit was a disgrace. Yo, check out this motherfucking video. I'll be right back. <laughs> is thinking he's a thug. He, think he, he got it all made and figured it out. He doesn't. One thing I noticed that any male who think it's cool to belittle women and feel a certain way, you feel like you're a big man now. You feel like you could go out here and be like you Randy Savage, you motherfucker. You are the worst of the worst. Men who stand up for any righteousness or stand up for any positivity should check him right away. Now I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure if any one of them, his friends or colleagues, reached out to him on the phone like, bro, that's fucked up, bro. You need to check yourself. I don't know if that happened behind the closed doors, but publicly, the only person I've seen so far that spoke up is my man, my son. Salute to the king over there for speaking up on this matter. At the end of the day, this shit was a disgrace. Another man who thinks it's okay to put your hands on a woman and talk down on a woman is a coward. There's no reason why you should think that you should not, not apologize. So I'm expecting for this man to have an open public apologies to that woman and to the women in the world who's watching it and is also a fan who might have felt offended by seeing such performance in a, in a public display. Once again, stop giving this nigga so much clout. Stop giving him so much flowers, think he's dope, because he's not. He's one of those guys that was in elementary school that used to get picked on, nine out of 10. Now he's big, got some money. He feels like he could do whatever he want to do. Don't come around me, my nigga, because you ain't going to get the same hello greeting from everybody else. That shit was trash. And all any friends that's giving high fives and think, oh, this is great. You, you, you told her, check that bitch. Any nigga who talk like that 
is a disgrace. You are not a man. You was a bum. You was a peasant. You're the bottom of my shoe. Any male that think you can put your hands on a woman. Period. I don't condone it. I don't respect it because when I have a daughter on this earth, I want my daughter to know that she's going to be protected at all times and what a man does and what a man doesn't do. So all you cowards that think this is what's cool, you could go die and die and die on a goddamn shoe and choke on a motherfucking pe peanut shoe, nigga. I don't care what y'all niggas do, but this shit was whack. Fuck you and all your motherfucking friends who think this nigga is the right man to go through and think that he's got the right channel and the right motherfucking clout. He is not doing what he's supposed to be doing, which is uplifting his community to help push them. First, he disrespect hip hop pioneers. Now he disrespected women. He been disrespecting women I, I, uh, quite a few times that I noticed. My man is definitely shouldn't get any fucking stripes or any kind of recognition because academics is definitely falling off. And when I say falling off, he needs psychological help, he need a whole lot of prayers, and he need to be around some, some loving people because this motherfucker need to know what love look like. That ain't love, nigga. Just because you got some money, you, 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 you getting this stream money, you got this shit going to your head. Don't do that shit to no nigga your size. Because you, you ain't going to get no hugs and cuddles, nigga. And ain't nobody going to say sorry to your ass. So once again, get up and get the fuck out of here with that bum ass shit and apologize publicly. I'm going to keep getting on your ass every time on my show, on the Book Eli show. LRR, Living Room Talk, and that's how we're going to get down over here. Fuck you, nigga. Yeah. It's the you already know. I'm a king. <laughs> yeah, I'm a king. Shot nigga store. You all too. Facts. I'm a king. I'm a goddamn king. <laughs> I'm a king. <laughs> I'm a king. Yeah. What you motherfuckers mean? Murder, murder, no one beats. Slippery sheet, lyrically, we spitting the heat. I'm a king, rising to the top. Ain't nobody stopping me, my mind is blown. 